what a disappointment. In fact, what hypocrisy. Before his election, I read Mr. Obama's two books, and he commented in print that he had, when as a what social organizer in Chicago, used cocaine, used marijuana regularly. Then, when on the campaign trail, he said, well, did you inhale, you know, the old Clinton joke? And he said, I thought the, it was the whole idea. How refreshing, how wonderful. Now he is in office, and what happens? He actually instructs his attorney general to give that memo saying, as long as people in medical marijuana dispensaries are not in violation of state law, we're going to leave them alone. And then his own head of the DEA in her confirmation hearing says, oh, I'm not going to follow that. And now look what Obama is doing, actually attacking medical marijuana dispensaries that are working hard, hand in glove with local officials, doing it right, and now they're under attack from the Obama administration. I say, shame on him. When I was asked the same Clinton question about did I inhale, my response was I never exhaled. <laughs> and I'm not trying to be flippant here about a very serious issue, and that very serious issue is the fact that 100 million Americans have smoked marijuana. I'm one of that group. Given the wrong set of circumstances, I'm behind bars. Well, guess what? We got 2.3 million people behind bars in this country, the largest category of those behind bars being there on drug-related offenses. This war on drugs needs to stop. And let's start with legalizing marijuana. Control it, regulate it, tax it.